Okay guys, so just a quick update on everything I've learned over the last few days. I posted that video anywhere that I could that talked about how I got my sense of taste and smell back. And I've spoken to at least 100 people who also have lost their sense of taste and smell. Now there's about like 15 or 20 of them that are slowly starting to regain their sense of smell and taste. And it's usually at the nine day marker, which is very similar to me. A lot of the people that I've spoken to that are regaining their sense of smell and taste, like myself, lost their sense of smell on March 15th. I am probably the only person that's going to speak out and say anything. On March 14th, I walked outside of my house and I smelled bleach in the air. I thought maybe a storm was coming. And then I was like, but that's not what storms smell like because storms do have a smell. And then I went on my way. I went to Astoria. I got out of my car. It smelled like cleaning products. I'm like, what is going on? I figured something was sprayed in the air, probably to combat the virus. However, myself and multiple people had lost their sense of smell on March 15th. It is not a coincidence. That's one thing. Another thing is they do seem to be getting their sense of smell back after about the nine day marker. Now, I also want to be honest and let you know that sometimes after I ate during that period, I would feel like not congestion because I didn't have congestion. There were no symptoms. I didn't have congestion. I just took a decongestant because that's what my roommate who is a hospital, uh, who is a hospital, who is a doctor at Flushing Hospital told me to do. I was like, I don't have a sense of smell and taste. She's like, take a decongestant. Clearly it helped or it was just the nine day marker. I don't know. We don't have enough data yet, but I'm making this video so that we have something, right? So I got my sense of smell and taste back after some time. However, there are moments where I felt like my brain was swollen in its cavity. I didn't think anything of it, but I knew something was off. Today, one of my friends, a task rabbit, said that he had a roommate who went to the hospital, was found positive, and was sent home because they didn't have enough hospital beds. His friend is now in the hospital brain dead. So... I, for a long time, have been wondering if this virus has a neurological component to it. Is that what they're afraid of? And then is that what they're not sharing with us? I would like people to not freak out and not say that this is like conspiracy. Like, comment below. Do you know anybody that has the virus? How is their neurological function? Has anything happened to them? I know another gentleman who said his friend's on a ventilator. So I don't have any of those symptoms. None of the people who have lost their sense of smell and taste seem to have any of these symptoms. And according to articles that I've seen and read, hundreds of thousands of people seem to have recovered from it that have been found positive and now they're fine. So I want to get more information. I'm not making this video to strike fear or anything. If anything, I want to help you and let you know that you can take a decongestant and get your sense of smell back. If you want, you can smell essential oils to reactivate the senses. Um, you could smell camphor tablets if you want to do that as well. I'm not saying that is what heals anybody. I believe the decongestant helped as well, but those are aids that added to it because you have to wake up your senses that are not dead, but like we're off. So that was my previous video. Right now we're talking about the number of people that I've spoken to, the coincidence of the time frame of when they lost their sense of smell, and the coincidence that many of them are getting it back at around the same time. So my question is, how many people that have lost their sense of smell are past day nine and still do not have any sense of smell? I would like to know if you're, like the time frame of how long it's been and if you are actually getting your sense of smell back and if you did anything to get your sense of smell back. I'm trying to acquire information and data because the doctors are too busy and there is no website or forum. And if there is, please let me know. I would love to be part of that study. I would love to be tested again and, and find out if I'm okay. But I understand that there's other people that need to get tested first and I'm perfectly fine with that. But when the day comes that everybody can get a test, I would like to be retested. The other thing in question is, will you need the vaccine if you've had it and then you cured yourself? There is a huge argument that started on Facebook because I asked that question and I'm like, okay, well, if you had the virus and you've recovered, you don't need the vaccine because you've already built the antibodies in your system. Someone who is not even a scientist or in the medical field, I think it's like an accountant or something, replied that no, you need the vaccine because it's variable strains and the, there's different mutations. So the vaccine will help you fight it. 
then another person who is far more educated and understands medicine and is in the medical field replied back and said, well, the whole point of a vaccine is that you put it in your body so that your body can create the antibodies it needs to fight it. But if you've already fought it, you have a stronger version of that resistance in your body. So you wouldn't need a vaccine. And then the argument started on Facebook and I tapped out because I was just not trying to get into that. But I would like to know for other reasons, why people who have already recovered would need a vaccine when they already have the antibodies in their system. So to go back, if you have lost your sense of smell and taste or know someone that has, highly recommend that they use a decongestant. Second thing, has anybody been feeling like their brain is swollen in their head? You know, like it just not all day, like just maybe for like 10 seconds of the day or 15 seconds of the day, you just feel something off and then you go back to being normal. This, that's a very short period, 10, 15 seconds. Um, another thing is, has anybody heard of there being neurological, you know, um, issues with people who have had the coronavirus? Um, so these are the things that I'm looking to find out. If you do know somebody who's lost their sense of smell and taste, or if you are someone who's lost their sense of smell and taste, how long has it been? Please keep in touch. We wanna kinda keep this as like a data forum to find out what people are saying. Are you getting your sense of smell and taste back? What are you doing to get it back? Um, these are things that we need to talk about and nobody's really collecting that data. So if you can just start a chat here, maybe somebody can come in and look at it and actually talk to the people who are going through this instead of having all of these people who are not experiencing any symptoms, who are not losing their sense of smell and taste, leaving all these negative comments, yelling and bullying the people who are trying to find help. So many people i've been bullied by a lot of people and i don't even have it i just lost my sense of smell and taste i i don't have it so i'm just curious what's going on out there what are people hearing what are you experiencing how are you doing or what are you doing to fix it have you spoken to a doctor what are they telling you because there's a lot of people who don't have answers and we are a community of humans. We need to communicate. We need to get these answers. Um, there's tons of Facebook pages you can join. I've talked to at least 100 people today. And I'm praying and hoping that any of the advice that I gave them helps. Um, they too have been bullied. And uh, the funny thing is people that bully, you know how many people have the virus and they have no symptoms? It's probably the bullies. But anyway, um, I just really hope we get to the point where we can nip this in the butt, uh, where we can actually have enough tests to test everybody, and where we come up with some type of cure. Yeah, there is no cure for the flu. There is no cure for this type of thing, but just a way to minimize and handle it. And then I would like to know if there are any cases of there being neurological issues, because there's a reason that they quarantined everybody, and I'm wondering if that's why. Thanks.